Avon, how very nice to see you again. You look well. No, no, actually that's not true. You look rather tired. Why don't you sit down? Thank you. It's less painful than being knocked down. Have my people been treating you badly? Oh, I do apologize. I shall reprimand them most severely. You may go. You don't seem surprised to see me. If it was a trap, it had to be yours. The precise planning, the meticulous detail, the general flair, who else could it be? Thank you. Uh, that you of all people should appreciate my work is very flattering. I thought it might be. Mm -hmm. I must admit that when I started beaming messages to the Liberator, I was worried you might not believe them. I didn't. What convinced you? When you transmitted the recording of Blake's voice, Zen did a print analysis and confirmed that the voice could be genuine. On the strength of that, I had to follow it up. I never doubted you would. What about the others? Were they convinced? I told them nothing about it. You were afraid they might not want to help you find Blake? On the contrary, I was sure that they would. But they can get a little over-enthusiastic, a little careless. So rather than let them walk into what might be a trap, you decided to do it all on your own. How very noble of you. I thought so. Of course, it had nothing to do with not wanting to share Blake's mysterious discovery. Nothing at all. <laughs> Well, let me reassure you, you weren't entirely misled. Blake is alive, and if not well, at least on the road to recovery. More important, he is my prisoner. Naturally, I wouldn't expect you to take my word for it. So you may see him and talk to him. I already have. What? Your security is not very efficient. You were supposed to be held in close custody. It's not very important. Let's get down to terms. I want Blake's freedom. What do you want? That. A straight exchange. You get Blake and whatever it is he's discovered. And I get the Liberator. 